So if I'm to become the most powerful mage, I'm of course going to need to up my game a little bit. Diving deeper into Ars Nouveau, there's so much more to be had here. So much, so much stuff is in this mod. Um, it's absolutely crazy and it's beautiful. Like this mod is so pretty, right? The whole, the whole concept of it is great. Um, but uh, at the moment, we're kind of running into a space issue. And so I've decided to start building off some platforms. We still haven't finished our tower, but it is a work in progress. Um, it's bas this is basically gonna to, uh, going to allow me to generate source in a better way, a, a different way, not really a better way, but a different way. And to do this, I am going to need another pedestal, um, or actually I'm gonna be able to use one of these pedestals because I have an extra one. So right here is a regular arcane pedestal. We've used those with the enchanting setup. And we're going to use that here as well. And then I'm, I'm just going to hook up to this. Actually, I'm going to move this back. I'm going to place a source link right here. And then behind that is going to be a pedestal. And this should be able to consume things that go into this pedestal. It's actually kind of cool how this works. And then in return, this generates some sort of heat. Um, now, a great way to get items into here is going to be like a hopper. Uh, a hopper should work. Actually, let's go ahead and use this so I can just make one. So, a good old-fashioned hopper with a chest. Oh boy, that's the only problem, making chests. Yeah, sometimes, Jay, I just don't like the, uh, the chest situation. All right, so we have the hopper, and like I said, you can have this dispense items into this pedestal. And this volcanic source link, instead of using the crop one that we've been using, this is actually going to consume burnables, um, such as coal, or what it really likes is it likes this special arcane wood that comes from that tree that's up there. Um, actually, I think we have a couple surrounding trees that could do that. But those logs, it gives you a nice little bonus for. But if you have the coal, you can also use coal. And of course, we do have a bit of coal at the moment. So I throw that in there. And as you can see, it's going to start generating source, which is what we're going to need. And we're going to need a bit of it because from what it seems in the book... It does tell you a little bit about this, but it, uh, it's something you kind of have to dig into. The more glyphs that we have learned, the more overall mana we will have, and the higher our mana regen will also be. So if you think you've capped out, you probably haven't, because we need to basically make more glyphs. And to make more glyphs, well, we need a lot more source. So I just want to test and make sure this actually functions with this being separated like this, which it should, but I've got this all set up with our enchanting. I have my glyph press here. The bottles are being filled up, which looks perfect. I have four bottles now, which is crazy. And then we set this, and last but not least, a bottle. And yes, it does work, because uh, it does say you can actually have these sprawled out, which is kind of cool. Look at that, just cooking that all up. And I now have a jar of light. Now, this thing, is honestly kind of neat in theory, what it says it does. Basically, you can summon the jar of light and it's supposed to follow me. <laughs> Look at the little light. So as I have it activated, a light orb will be summoned in my place. So while we're traveling, as you can see, it summons this orb. So this was this is a great little thing to make especially when you're out and about in a cave and you don't want to, have to worry about too many bad guys this thing is pretty cool because it's just going to light your path oh look a slimy boy oh there's a fancy slimy boy there and we ended up getting a book from that wow that was a really easy slimy book but yeah it's just going to place a little light in your path how cool is that as we walk around just lighten up our area and then disappears when we don't need it. And then I think to you can just right click to deactivate it. So right now it's on. And now it's off. Oh, this, this guy. Yes. I want to deal with you. This guy is so creepy, by the way. Where did he go? I thought I got a swing on it. Is this it? No, this is a special Enderman though. Oh, okay. That's crazy. 
Look what this thing summoned! That's so many silverfish! <laughs> we love how we got the this is the end because of these things. Okay, that, that was interesting. All right, I'm time to pick up my light. Wait a minute. <laughs> I was just randomly given an end portal frame? Excuse me? But why? Like, it, was that one of the things that that Enderman dropped? I, it, I swear everything can get reactive on it. This is uh, not something you want to place down. I mean, it's a it's definitely a nice gift. But it's an unbreakable block. Interesting that we got one, even though it's basically useless in this. So the main reason that I set all of this up is because we can actually enchant books with this method. So mana regen is something I really want. Not so much boost, but definitely the regen, the ability for this to bar to fill back up quickly would be amazing. But it does require crafting, and it may seem like I can just craft this right away which is the reason why we went and got berries last episode. I can't, I actually have to, to go about this different. Um, so uh, if we take a look at mana regen, I have to make a mana regen book first, then I can actually make a level two mana regen book. I believe the catalyst is going to be a book. That's what the main part is gonna be. Um, and then I put the regen one book in here oh, and then use these items to make the regen two. And then with a region two book, I can then make a region three. So just to, just to look at that, um, we do have a region five book, um, but I want to at least get some more region on my gear other than that, that base region. So I'm going to try and do this and taking a look at what we need. Um, looks like one, two, three, four, five of these glyphs of extended time. Everything else is pretty simple for us to get but making five individual glyphs require five marvelous clay, and of course requires five clocks, which I mean, that's the easy part. So at the moment, there's nothing stopping me from making the base book, which I'm almost positive is going to be two lapis. The source block, which is, uh, source gems are kind of expensive. Um, I mean, we found them, we found them a lot underground, but they still are, are pretty expensive. And then just a book. Ah, yeah, and that's it. And this is going to make us a tier one regen book. Look at that, mana regen one, which is awesome. Now moving forward is where I have to use the glyph press. And uh, just to show, this is our current mana stack, right? And that just used up a little bit of mana to do that craft, or I say I should say source. Um, but this also uses a pretty big chunk of source as well. It just used it, I believe from this. Used about one eighth of what it looks like. Yeah, it looks like it uses about one eighth of the source, which is kind of expensive considering it takes quite a bit of coal to, to get to this amount. So now we're gonna be moving to this, which is gonna require all of the same things, right? Exact same things, except it's now gonna require one of these, I believe. It's just, no, two. That's gonna require two, and the next one requires three. So still need all of this, all the source, which is the, like I said, the most expensive part. And then two of these, which now that I look at it, we're gonna have to have an extra pedestal, I think, for the next run. And then I just put this in here. And bam! Man, that is so colorful looking and so cool. And right there, that is our Mana Region 2 book. Now, taking a look at the next step, which is basically getting this going, which I need. I mean, it, it, no, it requires the same amount. Oh, but one less lapis. So that's not bad. So yeah, this right here. <laughs> uh, if we take a look at ours and all of the source gems. This has just been for me collecting them. And as you can see, this is pretty late game. This is just for one book and it requires that much stuff. Um, I would call that, it's, I would call it pretty expensive. Like this is a uh, pretty expensive to do this, uh, especially for any enchant. I think any enchant is gonna be pretty expensive. Actually, that needs to be popped off. And then we have one here, one here and one here, and then berries. But hey, this is regen three. 
and I would be happy just to have a region five and region three on my armor of some sort. At least having those two, because I do have some mana boosts. But still, this is this is so cool looking. Oh man, that's perfect. And we have a mana region three. So I'm gonna gather up some other books and see what all we can apply to our armor to make us awesome. And uh, yeah, let's do this. So I'm hoping while I enchant this stuff, of course I went ahead and made an XP tome while I'm farming XP. Also did realize that the mutants can spawn uh, because I ended up having a wither skeleton mutant, which kind of scares me now about my farm that I have with the blazes. That has me horrified. Um, so yeah, I'm taking a look at some of the stuff that we have here. There's like potion barrier. Um, and I need to basically unequip all of my gear, grab some lapis, and basically set here grinding out experience and figure out exactly what do I want on my chest. This has reckless. I mean, protection's nice, but I could make a protection enchant anytime we need it. Potion barrier sounds really nice to prevent us against potions, which is something that is pretty, uh, pretty prevalent in this. And then we also have gravity plus. I have no idea what some of these do. I think actually gravity pulls mobs in and I don't really want that because I noticed it actually works on armor stands. So a lot of these like weird enchants that are coming from uh, the Minecraft dungeons stuff, not all of them are great. <laughs> not all of them are good. Um, so I'm going to hope I'm going to go with potion barrier here and see what all will we get. Because um, we also get this lightning focus. I don't know if I want to be striking things down with lightning, you know, it's going to be really hard to enchant things because of that. You know what? Getting this, I don't know what reckless is, but just having protection in general is actually kind of nice. Now I have this tome and what I can do is just empty it into my inventory. And so I can fill this up, then fill my main inventory up. Uh, and then we have a little bit of extra leeway here as far as what can be en enchanted. Yeah, I definitely don't want fire protection. Anything that has like normal protection, I probably will go for. This has explore. Uh, I don't even know what it does because the wiki doesn't have any information on it. So. I have no idea what what any of these things do. Actually got really lucky on this one and got protection four as a single enchant. That's actually pretty nice. I wasn't expecting to get that. Um, but yeah, uh, this is poison focus on on boots. This is beast surge. And then we also have cooling. And I think the cooling is coming from the same mod that gives me uh, like a hunger or gives me a, a thirst meter and an energy bar. But at the moment, we don't have those implemented. Like, we don't have a meter like that. So, again, it's getting wiped, and I've got to go back and retry. And then later on, of course, we're going to apply those beautiful mana regens on us. Just notice as I went to put this on, Reckless is awful. <laughs> it takes all of my health, boom, and knocks me down. I'm assuming, though, that it is it does do some nice stuff. Like, it may help us survive uh, some damage. No, it doesn't. Okay, never mind. You know what? <laughs> That's 100% getting white from this. I do not want Reckless. All right, so at this point, I'm pretty excited because I ended up getting protection on this. Uh, protection on this. Mana boost on that, which isn't bad because it's mana boost three. But look what's rocking here. Let's hope that the quantum doesn't give anything bad. We have Swift Footed. You know what? I, I don't think I can complain about any of this armor. Don't really know 100% what Swift Footed gives us. Unless... Oh, when I jump. Which I think is supposed to be like related to rolling. So uh, I get an occasional speed boost. That's actually not super bad. Um, So we also have our mana regen. So now that I have this armor, I think I just need to look for one more piece. And that is going to be protection and in which I can actually search and see if we do have anything with uh, any type of regular protection on it. I think we have at least one thing that has protection or something. Yeah, this has protection too, but it has reckless on it. And I have no good way of splitting up reckless. I do not want reckless. Reckless is nasty. Ah, perfect. I have this protection three books or not book protection three piece here and I can just grab a book and we can rip it right off of this because we have no need for this. There we go, protection. And protection three is more than, I'm more than happy to have that, especially with this set. And then as far as mana goes, 
Um, I do have mana in here. Um, so we have a mana boost. Mana regen five is the one that I want. And what else do we have? I mean, we have a mana boost two. I don't know if I have another mana boost two, but that would be great, right? This is a mana regen. Yeah, everything else, not really worth having on me. I actually found this that has Beast Surge 2, which I'm gonna have to look that up, make sure that's good. Um, and then we also have Arrow Hoarder, which I don't think I can complain about Arrow Hoarder. It's probably just going to help benefit our arrows, but we'll see. So I am basing this off of the Minecraft Dungeons Wiki because I have no other place to go. But Beast Surge is apparently a way, like if we consume a health potion or use a health potion, our pets, uh, will receive a bonus. So I don't know how the health potion thing would work. Um, but it does say basically our, any of our pets that are helping attack like an iron golem are going to be increased. It's speed and it's movement speed and attack is going to be increased for 10 seconds. So that actually might be something worth having on us. And then arrow hoarder would supposedly give us a bigger stack of arrows. <laughs> Um, with it being a base of two, it's supposed to be 20 extra arrows per stack. So absolutely useless for us, but that mana boost is going to be very, very nice. So after gathering a bit more experience, I think we now have enough to apply this. And I noticed, so like if we already have something set up, for example, like protection and mana regen, this is going to go in here. Um, we can actually apply mana boost and mana regen on the same piece so let me go ahead and combine these two and you can actually have mana boost and regen which i didn't actually know could be on both, both sets of gear uh looks like i'm gonna need a bit more experience on it hopefully i'm um, actually let's see that's oh, gonna be two exactly look at that so we now have a pretty substantial amount of mana now and regen yeah that i can basically spam this whoo Boy, we are getting powerful here. Super powerful. So I decided to go back and visit the nether and at least start where I originally launched from my portal. And I've made a little bit of a spell right here that is going to leap and then amplify that leap. Give me some slow fall and then, of course, duration down. This thing is actually not too bad. Like for getting around, it's pretty decent. And like we can just use it for like speed leaping. And then we just slow fall wherever we're planning on going and hopefully not in lava. That would be like great, right? Not to, not to make it into lava. Um, and then as we go about, of course, these guys are nasty. The things that I just shot down. Um, also I have a thing, so I don't need to wear gold inside here. We got this, uh, a while ago, last time we visited the nether. And so we ended up getting a bastion ring, which is amazing because piglins, they won't bother us. And they'll actually point to the nearest bastion, apparently. What is going on over here? What are those things? Oh, they're they're kind of cool looking. Like, are they hostile, though? They're so, like, low to the ground that I thought they were, like, a little... They're shroomlin? You guys are adorable. Look at, look at your eyes. Oh, just a glowing. So this whole area, I have yet to really explore... But I know there's a lot of stuff here. Look at that. And glowstone looks so crazy with the spikes. It's just, it's beautiful over here. Yeah, there's tons of these things. I don't remember these things being around. So right here, this place looks epic. Just all of the yellow coming from the shroom lights makes this whole biome look just absolutely stunning. Man, I tell you what, shaders have come a long ways, and I, I tell you, it really brightens up the gameplay for me. It just, I don't know, something about this just looks fantastic. Believe it or not, these, these red geodes right here are actually pretty decent. I should probably grab them. Yeah, and if you didn't know or notice, um, as I grab that, the items don't drop. That's because I have gone through and I've set up basically every tier uh, glyph that I can actually make. I've went ahead and made them uh, for tier one and two. And item pickup is definitely an amazing one. And you can also set item pickup to range break. And so what this will allow you to do, for example, I just broke that glowstone and it put the glowstone in my inventory at a distance. How cool is that? Is there, a, is there, are there eyes underneath your hat? Oh my goodness. That's horrifying. 
Oh, I'm noping out of here. That is some sort of snake. What does it do? Does it set me on fire? You shouldn't set me on fire, right? Is that say... Wait, Drachnia? Is that what this is? Oh, no. No, thank you. But it is from this Greek fantasy mod, which I'm, I'm really liking. There's some cool mobs in this. Wow, some of these biomes here. Man, and I have high favor earned blessings from Hades. Oh, no. We're in high favor now. I don't even know. This should shoot really fast. I did amplify this to make it also shoot a lot faster projectiles. Oh, this is incredibly nice. Look at this, though. Wow. So this is where this move, like, really shines, I think, is, like, flying through the nether to potentially find structures. And, of course, we are barely using any mana because the more glyphs we have, the less mana we actually consume. And what are you? What is this? Oh, there's a chest in here. Gold? Bunch of shrooms. Okay. Oh! There's also a spawner up there. And that is a gas spawner. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Test me. I want to see. Aerial. I missed. That's incredibly dangerous to do. I should probably not do that. Ooh, but you know, I could probably make a hurt spell with my other book and like swap back and forth between them. What is this? Is that a respawn point? There's so much stuff going on here. Oh man, but I'm just enjoying every bit of every minute of this. I believe I just found a bastion as well. Yeah, this is this is definitely a bastion. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Those were the days. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Get out of here with that. Trying to hurt me. Also, the piggies. I, you know, I don't know. Those guys are pretty rough. They're still tough. But, man, they're nothing against lava, I guess. I love it just wrecked that dude. I don't think there's really anything in the Bastion that I really want at the moment. But, wow, look at this. Look how vast this is. It's insane. I mean, these head things, I don't, I don't want to deal with, but... Man, there's so much here. Oh, we got chains. And these things... These blossoms? Those are really cool looking. I might actually grab some of those up. And yeah, look at these massive chains. Biome, so cool looking. So I think I have found the spot. <laughs> Basically a spot to farm gas because right over there is one of those buildings that spawns the gas. And we also have this building right here, which is pretty nice. But this building actually has some loot in it and there's some hidden loot as well. This structure. Ooh, okay. Um, there's gas tiers to be found here. Just a regular sword, but we do have en special enchanted books. Wow, the leather armor actually looks really nice in this. Okay, and then I don't think any of these other buildings like have anything super special in them. But it's not about what's in them. It's about what's actually under them. Because uh, believe it or not, there's some crazy stuff under them. Ooh, these are some cool looking banners. And the looting 2 book? Yeah, I think this was definitely worth checking this out. All right, so... Now that we have that sorted out, oh boy, and we have this over here. Let me make sure I have my tool ready. Yeah, because these guys are spawning. And the problem is, is they do spawn as I'm right here. But underneath this is actually stuff that's uh, worth uh, worth grabbing. I'm almost positive. It's Yeah, there's there's gold right there. All right, there's some magma blocks, but I'm pretty sure there's a chest. Yes, there is a chest and it's right here. So definitely be on the lookout because there is more. There, there's definitely more loot than you think that's lingering through this area. I think even this one has a similar similar thing going on. Oh, man, I'm trying to be super careful because 
yeah, these things are also lingering about. It says runes of explosions from the relics mod. Like, I'll take it. I have no I Like, this mod has a lot of cool things you can actually do with it. So, oh, it's there. I guarantee there's tons of relics, though, in the nether just sitting there waiting to be discovered. Oh, man, I just want to find more loot. And if I remember correctly, I think there's also loot under one of these pillars as well. Maybe it's under this one. Ooh, let's uh, get rid of this guy, though. Man, they make such a crazy noise. Where's it at? So we right there. Got him. Got him. Two for one. Okay, so there's that. Yes, there's a chest right there. Perfect. What is in this one? So we got another enchanted book, but a bastion remnant map. Okay. Perfect. So like this right here is what I'm talking about. Like this place is actually pretty cool. Ooh. Man, these things are so cool, but also very dangerous. Oh. And hard to hit. I'm on my way out. I don't know if you're friendly or not. Surely you're friendly. Oh! Yep, nope. He's not friendly. <laughs> oh, it's from the Greek fantasy mod again. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, and we end up getting it. Is it uh Ortheus? Ooh, that's so cool. Oh, I love I love this stuff. And on my way out, I ended up finding this. Yes. Oh, this could be really useful for like farming uh, books because look at this. Look how many like books we ended up getting just from one of the slime spawning in. Oh man, the chance of getting like high quality books from this are actually really high because yeah, they break into a bunch of different spawns and the chance of them being like a special mob is pretty high. I had a lot of fun putting together this episode and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. But of course, I do want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video. And that is going to go to Alex Liebentrent. I think I said that right. <laughs> Thank you so much for your amazing support over on Patreon. I really appreciate you. And of course, guys, if you are interested in becoming a patron yourself, of course, you can find that link down in the description below. I know it's super difficult youtube does not make descriptions easy to get to anymore but believe me it is there there's also a lot of information there of course i get a lot of questions and usually the information is literally right there in the description so guys be sure to check that out and of course i love your face of course i'll see you in the next episode be sure to click the subscribe button if you haven't already and give this video a huge thumbs up i really appreciate it guys i'll see you in the next one and as always thanks for watching